News tonight, a big political name is out of the running for Senate or governor next year. News 3 political reporter Jessica Arp tells us what's next for Democrats now that Russ Feingold is out, Jess. Well, Feingold promised a decision by Labor Day and delivered. It just wasn't the answer some Democrats were hoping for, and now it means the Democratic race for Senate is wide open. It's on to the next battle. It's on to 2012. On election night in November, it sounded like he may have had another one in him. But today, all those who harbored hopes were set straight. In a statement on his Political Action Committee website, Russ Feingold announced he would not run for office in 2012. It takes the leading contender out of the race. Feingold has huge support among the base of the Democratic Party, and in that will be a disappointment to them that he's not running. Feingold's decision sets up a whole new race for outgoing Senator Herb Cole's Senate seat. But more importantly, it opens a door to a new generation of party leadership with Feingold holding the Senate seat for 18 years, Senator Cole holding it for a long time. There's been no upward path for Democrats for practically a generation. Now that path is wide open. Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin has been vocal about her interest in the race. In a statement today, she said she is seriously exploring a race for U.S. Senate and will have an announcement in the coming weeks. Congressman Ron Kind also said through a spokeswoman today that he was still weighing his options on a bid. Former Congressman Steve Kagan of Appleton is another rumored name. We were unable to reach him for comment. But those three have the advantage of all having run successful campaigns in the past, but representing very different areas of the state. And that's an interesting development on the Democratic side. Now, if either of the sitting members of Congress would run, that could cause a domino effect in their seats. Already in the 2nd Congressional District, State Representative Mark Pocan, State Senator John Erpenbach, and Representative Kelda Helen Royes have all expressed interest in the 2nd Congressional District seat, meaning if they ran, some of those seats would open up for other candidates as well. It could be a domino effect, but it will definitely be an interesting next few yes, months. Yes, that's up on interesting 2012. Just thanks. Now, the Republican field for Senate should become clear in the next few weeks. Former Governor Tommy Thompson has been setting up a campaign structure this week, announcing co-chairs. Former Congressman Mark Newman also mulling a run, also considering a bid. Republican Assembly Speaker Jeff Fitzgerald, as well as State Senator Frank Lassay and former Senator Ted Cannabis.